Now hear our scripture from the book of Luke, chapter 23, verses 1 through 25, and the book of Mark, chapter 15, verses 17 and 18. Then the assembly rose as a body and brought Jesus before Pilate. They began to accuse him, saying, We found this man perverting our nation, forbidding us to pay taxes to the emperor, and saying that he himself is the Messiah, a king. Then Pilate asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? He answered, You say so. Then Pilate said to the chief priests and the crowds, I find no basis for an accusation against this man. But they were insistent and said, He stirs up the people by teaching throughout all Judea, from Galilee, where he began, even to this place. When Pilate heard this, he asked the man whether he was a Galilean. And when he learned that he was under Herod's jurisdiction, he sent him off to Herod, who was himself in Jerusalem at that time. When Herod saw Jesus, he was very glad, for he had been wanting to see him for a long time, because he had heard about him and was hoping to see him perform some sign. He questioned him at some length, but Jesus gave him no answer. The chief priests and scribes stood by, vehemently accusing him. Even Herod with his soldiers treated him with contempt and mocked him. Then he put an elegant robe on him and sent him back to Pilate. That same day, Herod and Pilate became friends with each other. Before this, they had been enemies. Pilate then called together the chief priests, the leaders, and the people and said to them, You brought me this man as one who was perverting the people. And here I have examined him in your presence and have not found this man guilty of any of your charges against him. Neither has Herod, for he sent him back to us. Indeed, he has done nothing to deserve death. I will therefore have him flogged and release him. Then they shouted all together, Away with this fellow! Release Barabbas for us! Now this was a man who had been put in prison for an insurrection that had taken place in the city and for murder. Pilate, wanting to release Jesus, addressed them again, but they kept shouting, Crucify him! Crucify him! A third time he said to them, Why, what evil has he done? I have found in him no ground for the sentence of death. I will therefore have him flogged and then release him. But they kept urgently demanding with loud shouts that he should be crucified and their voices prevailed. So Pilate gave his verdict that their demand should be granted. He released the man they asked for, the one who had been put in prison for insurrection and murder, and he handed Jesus over as they wished. And they clothed him in a purple cloak, and after twisting some thorns into a crown, they put it on him, and they began saluting him, Hail, King of the Jews! The word of God for the people of God. Jesus is arrested and gets put on trial two times. He is in trouble for being a king. The people in this part of Jesus' story do not recognize Jesus as a true king. The religious leaders are worried that if he really is God's king, they will lose power and be out of a job. Jesus is popular with the people, and they are not. The religious leaders call Jesus a liar. A political leader, the Roman governor Pilate, doesn't understand how Jesus can be a king because he doesn't have all the things we talked about. Jesus doesn't have a crown or a castle or money. Jesus wants to be king of our hearts.
Let us pray. Jesus, please give us new eyes to see you. Help us see you as the true king that you are. Help us recognize you and your love. Give us ears to hear your voice and open our hearts so we can receive you as our true king. Amen.